Welcome to Colonel Jack's Destination. I'm Colonel Jack. This is Big Dog Jimmy. We have uh, news on the UFC. UFC news happening now. UFC news. Uh, UFC news now. Uh, we have a. Uh, we were going to have an awesome fight of uh, Sal uh, Sol Pelley versus Daniel Omiletschuk, uh, something like that, uh, for a heavyweight fight at the uh, UFC Fight Night 55 in Australia, but uh, sources close to uh, Daniel or uh, sources close to the contest were not learned that uh, Daniel had uh, broken his thumb, I believe it is, uh, from uh, what I understand. Um, yeah, that he broke his thumb and he's forced out of the fight and the uh, Polish heavyweight will not be able to fight and it's very disappointing, uh, you know, because he lost uh, Jared uh, Rosholt, uh, which, you know, it sucks because, you know, I was looking forward to these two guys fighting. But now the UFC has to find a new opponent, so they are scrambling and with uh, under three weeks to go uh, for this event at uh, November 7th, I believe, uh, over New South Wales, Australia, they have to find a new op uh, opponent for him uh, or the eighth. So uh, these are three guys I was looking at on the heavyweight, uh, the you know, on the heavyweights uh, that I personally would like to see for uh, go against uh, the the Hulk. So uh, so um, you know, so here we go. We got Derek Lewis. Uh, his nickname is the Black Beast. Uh, we know he had lost uh, his last fight. But still, it would be cool to see him uh, get a shot at fighting. Uh, I think that would be a cool fight. Or uh, somebody who hasn't fought since August 31st, 2013, when he lost against Ben Rothwell. Uh, and the guy is Brendan. Um, my fucking laptop's being stupid again. Uh, Brendan Vera. He, um, he is a heavyweight, and he would be an excellent choice. Uh, to uh, fight too because he hasn't fought in quite some time and then we have uh, Josh Barnett uh, who is ranked number five right now currently on the heavyweight roster but uh, the war master has not fought in a while so um, it would be cool maybe to get him in there to uh, fight uh, against so politely so uh, you know so there you have those are my three uh, picks for who I think should uh, fight against uh, so uh, play at the uh, UFC 155. Leave me a comment. Let me know who you think would be a good fight uh, for him at UFC 150, uh, UFC Fight Night 55 with only three weeks away. Uh, who will they put in there? Who would they be? Uh, would they uh, put Roy Nelson in there? I doubt it, but that would be awesome. Um, would they put, you know, uh, Frank Mir in there? I doubt it, because uh, it seems like he's waiting to come back till he can fight Brock Lesnar again. Uh, I don't know why he's ranked so high or ranked if he's not going to be fighting anytime soon. Maybe it's because he's injured. I don't know. But anyways, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Who should be the replacement? Uh, you know, so there you have it. Subscribe to Colonel Jack's Destination and leave a comment.